first thing first, how do you start a lawn care business? One of the things I would say is if you want your lawn care business to be legit, and that's what these... What's up? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. Hope you guys are cutting on. And for those who are new to the channel, I share my videos in hopes of helping you guys um, learn from my mistakes and also so you can see what I'm doing in order to help grow my business to a million dollars. So first thing first, how do you start a lawn care business? One of the things I would say is if you want your lawn care business to be legit, and that's what these videos are gonna be all about, how to become a legit lawn care provider, is that you want to go ahead and establish a name for your business through your state taxes. So I'm here in Georgia, so I'm gonna walk you through how you do that. Um, if you're in a different state, I can't help you, but maybe you can learn something while you're watching this video. So first thing first, you're gonna pull up the um, your state, which is Georgia for me, and you're gonna look for a business license, all right? So basically at this point, I need to find out what business name is already taken. For example, if you put in Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Services, boom, you will see that that name is taken. Now this is important because you don't wanna do your federal um, EIN number first and you create a name and then later on you become uh, wanting to have um, state license and find out that name has been taken in your state. So this is the reason why I'm saying that you need to go to your state website first and then put in the name. So once you do that, you wanna follow the prompts all the way through, um, through, and I'll show you how it's done. And I'll show you step by step. I'm gonna hold your hand in this one and pretty much the only thing I'm not gonna be able to do is pay for it. Fam, what you wanna do is find um, the Georgia website and basically what you're gonna do is you have to click on create a user account. Just click on this green button and it will definitely take you through all the prompts that you need to know. So I'm gonna show you once you do that, this is what you'll wind up seeing. You'll wind up seeing this page right here once you create your own account. Now, what you wanna do is click on business search. This is important because this is where you are going to enter your name. Say for example, if you wanted to enter Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care, what would it say? It would say, hey, it's already taken, okay? so. That's the thing that, that's the reason why I'm saying you want to go to your state site first. So let's say you wanted to call your company um, Lawn Pros. You have all these guys that got Lawn Pro in it, so you can call yours. Uh, we got Georgia Lawn Pros, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the whole point, again, searching on. So I'm going to put it, make sure that I have something because I want to begin to go ahead and start. And that's another thing. On this account, the back button is not your friend. Uh, they don't like it, so I got to hit home. So what I want to do is start or register a business. So I will click on register or create a business. Click on that. Right here it says creating a new domestic business. Go through the prompts. Now you have to decide what type of corporation or LLC that you want. I have an LLC. Basically it's just saying that if I ever get sued, which I hope I never will get sued, um, that they cannot come after my personal belongings. 
So I'm making this up, guys, just so you know that I'm just walking you through because I know sometimes people need the hand and glove um, part of this business. So I'm just going to put test lawn care. I'm not going to hit complete. Um, you have the, the your choices of the names. They're asking you to put three choices in there. Um, you will definitely do that. Um, and let's keep going. All of this right here, the codes and everything, you don't have to put any codes, at least for Georgia. Because uh, when you look through the lawn care part, it's nothing that's going to indicate anything dealing with that part of business. So I leave that um, alone. You're going to put your address here. Uh, one Main Street. Decatur. And Georgia three zero zero three two. Okay. Um, it's telling me something. Let's see what it's asking me to do. Name of the business must um, contain one of the following. Oh, got to put LLC in it. It's an important thing. LLC. This is the reason why I say you have to choose from one of those categories in order to be a business. Um, it's asking me to choose something. You got put unknown because it's nothing. It's nothing in this category that deals with um, um, lawn care. So unknown. Then you want to put your um, email address in. Secondary email address. I'm going to Q. And this, like I said, Q at gmail.com confirm uh, and this is not my email address by the way <laughs> I'm just trying to help you guys through the tutorial once again um, you want an individual name Q last name Jones street address one main street cater three zero zero three two then you put your name Q Jones that person becomes the organizer. That's the filing document. Okay. Got to click that. Create something. What are you asking me to create? Let me see. Please create a registered agent. Please enter at least one organizer. I gotta add that. I gotta hit the add button, guys. So I added it. So that's one organizer. I'm glad I was able to see that. Boom. Try to hit continue. Now I gotta please create a register agent. So let me go create register agents. Wow. Q Jones. Email address q at gmail.com. And I said I lived at one main street indicator. What county? The Cab County. What is zip at three zero zero three two? Created. All right, I think I did it. Let's see what we got. We'll continue. All right. So it's asking you to look over it, and pretty much you want to submit it, which I can't submit it because this this is all made up, guys. So at the end, what's going to happen once you submit it? It goes to a payment system that you can actually literally pay. And I think it's about 50 bucks. 
and then you're done. So all I was trying to do is show you how you can get a license for the state of Georgia. And I know sometimes, man, things seem like really difficult if you don't if you hadn't done it before. But this is the step by step. And this is the website right here that you want to go to. You know, that's the website you want to go to. So you can go ahead and get started. Hopefully this is going to help someone to go ahead and get their um, Georgia um, business license or license period from another state. All you got to do is look it up, follow the prompts all the way through, guys. And let me tell you, fam, it's not a lot of money to register yourself. This makes you seem legit when you are sitting in front of a customer and you can say the words, you can Google my business for the state of Georgia and they actually do it and then your stuff pops up. So we're going to get you to a place where you're going to be legit and I'm going to walk you through it. Hopefully, like I said, this helped. And as always, cut on lawn care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.